Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do some Fibonacci sequences with fractions. And first up, I'll just show you how to do when you have a sequence of five Fibonacci numbers. Uh, we know that if we want to complete this, and if we don't know Fibonacci is each number is the sum of the previous two, if we want to find that middle number of a sequence of five, we add these two and divide by three. Okay, so uh, what is that? Uh, five plus 43 divided by three. Uh, 48 divided by 3 gives me 16. So that middle number is 16. And then from here, it's pretty easy to get these two. Okay, because that middle number is just going to be 16 minus 5. 16 minus 5 gives me 11. Okay, and that's going to be 43 minus 16. Or just 11 plus 16. I guess we could do it that way, 27. That's easier. All right, so I get my Fibonacci sequence. Let me just finish that. 43 minus... 16 equals 27. All right, so I got my Fibonacci sequence here. Well, of course, it still works for fractions. So Fibonacci sequence will still work for fractions. And so to find that middle guy, it's an improper fraction. And right now, I'm not going to worry about simplifying fractions. Or if they're improper, I'm just going to keep them that way. So let's fill it in here. Um, I want to find this one. Well, that's going to be uh, the sum of these divided by 3. So uh, 3 fifths plus... 10 thirds and all of that is going to be divided by 3. Okay, so right now, yep, we can use a calculator and do that, but let's try to do it without a calculator. And I'm going to try to add that without a calculator first. I'm going to do uh, 3 fifths plus 10 thirds without a calculator, and then I'll divide by 3. Uh, okay, so 5 and 3 has a common multiple of 15, so I can't add fractions unless I have a common denominator. And to do that, I'm going to change these denominators so they both have a, a multiple of 15, a denominator of 15. That means I've got to multiply this guy by 5 over 5, because that gives me 15. And I'm going to multiply this guy whoops, by 3 over 3. So what I get here is I get 9 fifteenths. Okay, that gives me 9 fifteenths plus 50 fifteenths. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about simplifying the fraction just yet. Uh, and of course, when I combine these together, I do not add the denominator. I just add the numerator, and I get 59 fifteenths for that. Okay, um, and then of course I have to divide that by 3. So 59 fifteenths, 59 fifteenths divided by 3. Well, what does that mean? Dividing by 3 means I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. And what is the reciprocal of three, of course, that's one third. All right, so the key here is dividing by a number means we multiply by its reciprocal here in fraction land, and I get 59 over uh, 45. 59 over 45, okay. So that is gonna be my middle number. It's not pretty, but I'm just gonna write it in there. Four, 59 45ths, okay. Let's pause that for now. 